Hi everybody, Steve from Steve's Makerspace, and today we are in Scrap Mechanic. There is an update. We've got bots in creative mode that we can paint colors and make attack each other. We've got water in creative mode. We can chop down trees and mine in creative mode. Creative mode update test 0.5.0. It does appear to have some survival tweaks, but mostly it's focused on creative mode. This is on the test branch, so you would get to there by going properties, uh, betas, and then select the test. First thing you might notice is this thing back here. This is a piece of my art that I got off the workshop. Uh, there's this blue button right here. Right back here is a little mini world that you can enter and you can place creations. Unfortunately, no bearings right now, which I couldn't find hardly anything that didn't have a bearing. Uh, I found this. So if we click on that, it takes you here. You can put down your lift and spawn in things, but of course it has to have no bearings. Or you can build something here, as long as it doesn't have bearings. This world, you can see, I've just hit a wall right here. And I go this way, and I hit another wall. And yeah, I hit another wall right here. But that's pretty cool. And then another thing, you can move your character around. So you can see what he looks like after you get him dressed. So that's nice. So let's start by going into creative mode. Some of these updates are only going to be available in a fresh world. Let's go into flat world. This, this is what I wanted to show you. They made a fence. You know when you're about to run into the wall now in flat world. Yay. But now let's go into a terrain world. And they say that they've made the world a little bit bigger. It's a nice half pike in this world. Cool. But this is the big thing now in creative. We get water. Look at this. I don't know how I feel about this because I've usually used this area to run around in. And now it's full of water so oh well we still have uh, some area on the other side of the water that's pretty flat so that's good you could race around on the outside of this uh, water it's sort of like a moat but now you can test out your boats in creative mode with the survival build mod you can after you get your boat the way you want it you can bring it into survival the exciting thing they've added are these capsules so we got all our bots and if we shoot them or break them, they'll come out. If I don't paint them, they're going to attack me. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Hello. But they don't hurt. I mean, it's still creative mode. Oh, he destroyed my uh, flyer. Darn it. <laughs> but if I paint this, let's get my paint gun out. Dude. Will you stop that? I was trying to place that. All right, let's paint it red. Now. There we go. Dude. Did you really have to do that? Maybe a bigger bot. Paint him red. All right. Oh, but he's already red. Is he going to... What's he going to do? Oh, he's coming after me. Interesting. Maybe I shouldn't have painted him red. Let's, let's do another one. And... Oopsie. Darn it. <laughs> no! Stop! destroying my bots now I got another one <laughs> we'll run past there we go now hopefully they'll fight each other now there we go why are you coming after me there you go <laughs> Let's try to paint this guy blue. 
We now he should go after somebody. There he goes, going after the red bot. Oh, see. <laughs> Oh dear. Paint him. Dink! Oh no! Hey, right, how about paint you pink? <laughs> he got destroyed immediately, I think, by these guys. We need some of these guys, but in a different color, I think. Pink! Oh, I just painted him pink. Oh, I didn't know I could paint him pink after he was born. Can I paint you pink? What happens then? Oh, look, now he's destroying the red bot. Oh, cool. Paint you pink. Cool. I thought you had to paint them before you made them born. You can paint them at any time. We're going to try a whole bunch of hay bots against this one farm bot. Uh, let's see how this goes. There we go. Oh, check that out. They got him. <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> Turn on your fellow man. Your fellow bot. Will they destroy that? Interesting. Now it's a whole bunch of tote bots against a farm bot. There we go. Let's see how he does. Oh, he's taking care of them pretty easily. Let's uh, let's unleash some more tote bots. Come here. Uh oh, it's coming after me. <laughs> Come here. There we go. I jumped over them all. That was pretty cool. Why are you not going after him? Oh, they got him. They got him. No, no, there we go. Is he dead? No, he's back up. Whoa, look at him go. Now they got him. That was pretty cool. Wow. That was wild. I like it. Good update. <laughs> we also have a beacon. And I believe we have a logbook, do we? Oh, we don't have a logbook. Well, what's the point of having a beacon if we don't have a logbook? Oh, it does give you a waypoint, though. You can see it from far away. Okay. Well, that's something. And if I hit E, yeah, I can change it, change the color. There we go. All right, so they've got a water cannon. But since it's creative mode, you don't actually need to connect it to a water source. You just connect a button to it, and it'll shoot water. They added the water container and the ammo container, and you can put ammo in. Though, I don't know what the point of it is, since we have unlimited ammo. Same with the water container. So we can put water in it if we want, uh, but I don't know what the point of that is. Except... Maybe if you have a creative build and you want to bring it into survival mode, you could do that. We can now cut down trees and also there should be some stones that we can mine. Let's look for that. Found one. Now we just need a miner. There we go. It works. So we're mining in creative mode. That's pretty cool. Is that working? Oh, it does work in creative mode. There we go. Oh, it just disappears. That's weird. 
to not see the uh, metal or the stone uh, afterwards. It just goes away. So what happens? Are we able to knock down a tree? Or do we have to actually use a saw? Oh, look, we can knock down a tree. Nice. Oh, and it just goes away, just like the stone. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. You can test out your miner or your tree cutter in creative mode, and then using that mod, you can spawn it into survival. There's a new logic gate GUI. I guess this is fine. I don't know that it needed to be improved, but uh, it looks good. All right, so a couple of survival tweaks. One is shorter refining time. Yes, I think that was shorter. It seems shorter. And then being able to look at the logbook while seated. So hit L. There we go. We can be looking at the logbook. That's very nice. Hello. Let's refine this. Yeah, that's definitely going faster. Good. I like that. One last thing to look at is this physics quality that's been added apparently to improve performance by lowering the physics quality. So let's try putting it all the way down to zero. Oh no. What? Um, yeah, I don't think that's, that's good. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's try putting that back. If I can get it at the top of the screen like that, you can see what's going on there. Look at that. Pop. <laughs> okay, anything less than fully optimized physics quality, whatever it is, is terrible. I don't know why you would want low quality physics. Great that you can improve your computer performance, but if your vehicle doesn't operate, what's the point? <laughs> Spawn in a farm bot. Have him help with these rocks. Hello. Back here. There you go. Yeah. Mine away, buddy. Is he not able to deal damage to the rocks? He doesn't seem to be doing any damage. Oopsie. There we go. Come after this guy. There we go. Nice. They're making, sh they gotta make short work out of this guy. There he goes. Oh, now they're gonna come after me. Hello. Wow, it looks so strange being white. Oh man, they got rid of that A-bot so quickly. Come on. Do one-shotting the A-bots. And what are you doing? Why are y'all attacking the rock? Hmm. Come on, come on. Man, they're so fast. Why are the white ones so much faster than the blue ones? Look at that. There you go. <laughs> that hay bot going after that red bot. Okay. Gotta make sure they're facing in the right direction, huh? Oh, they got him. Now they're coming after me. I think we've learned enough in this episode. Pretty cool update. If you like this video, give it a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Come visit my Discord. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace.